ตาแนน I've always been an advocate of local beans. Um, for that matter, local farmers, local producers, roasters, um, and even local coffee shops, right? And I share that advocacy among many other um, coffee enthusiasts. And today I'm going to show you one more organization who is promoting local beans, um, specifically beans from Bulacan. I was surprised also at first that we have coffee beans from Bulacan because Bulacan, um, for, 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 those who are, um, for those who are not here in the Philippines or not familiar with the Philippine geography, Bulacan is like um, a very, very big patch of land that is um, dedicated to farming, but it is very low, right? So true enough, um, Sir Anjo, actually, he said, he mentioned that these beans are only 300 meters above sea level. And they have been trying to develop and improve their beans from Doña Remedios, Bulacan, right? So here it is. This is the Talbak coffee. So Talbak coffee from Talbak. Doña Remedios Trinidad Bulacan. Um, it is roasted by Kapeni Pepe, may kawayan Bulacan. It is anaerobic naturals, um, fine robusta. The flavor notes is milk chocolate, brown sugar, and tropical fruits. Elevation is 300 meters above sea level. And the producer is Talbak Coffee and Fruit Growers Association Incorporated. All right. So, Sir Anjo from Kapeni Pepe actually sent me this together, together with together with these drip bags. Um, I have been playing with the I have been playing with the robusta for quite a few brews now. But I haven't opened this drip bag. I want to see how did they grind it. Oh, it's it's quite coarse. Yeah. Okay. Um, Sir Anjo also mentioned that this is pan roasted. Right. This is pan roasted. So. I have been trying to um, I have been trying to do a recipe that would be perfect for this beans. So for today's coffee, we're gonna use the Talbak coffee from Kapene Pepe. And I'm gonna share you the recipe also that I used so that Sir Anjo from Kapene Pepe and um, other people can use it to brew this coffee. Right. First we're gonna weigh um, 13 grams. Disclaimer, I'm not a fan of I'm not a fan of Robusta because they're too strong for me. But um, I have been trying to perfect a recipe for this and I even solicited advice from known personalities in the coffee industry like Miss Bettina. Thank you for your um, insight on the Robusta. Miss Bettina is actually a part of Philippine Coffee Guild. She is a Robusta grader and an Arabica grader. So I asked her, what can I do to improve it? And she shared some insights that made it um, clear to me because I'm not used to brewing robusta beans just because that I think that they're too strong for me right so we are going to do some RDT then shake Okay, Miss Bettina actually mentioned that 
Robusta beans are quite dense. So she would she would grind them fine. So for this um for this recipe we're gonna do 18 clicks on the commandante. And then we're gonna use a normal V60, like a plastic V60 that everyone has access to. The water that we're gonna use today is low temperature. We want to avoid the unpleasant bitterness from Robusta that you can actually easily get. So we're gonna do a very fast pour, three pour method. Okay, as you can see, there is a lot of there is a lot of carbon dioxide being released in the blooming phase. We want to try and avoid that carbon dioxide sticking to the coffee. Right. So we want as much agitation as possible so that we can release all those gases. Okay, and then we're gonna shake. Aggressively. Okay, what this does is um, it is actually trying to oh, get rid of some of the unnecessary aromas, unnecessary taste that you don't want to end up in your cup. And the reason why we are pouring very fast is so that we do not over extract the coffee grounds. Okay, last pour. Up to 200 ml. Okay, and then we're gonna shake again to level the bed. This is uh, this is a normal one is to fifteen ratio. Um, but this time the technique that we used is um, low and fast, so we have very high agitation. And we have very fast movement of the water, even though our grind size is very small. Right. So, let's stir first before we take... Mmm! Okay. Yes, um, if you do this recipe, um, if you do exactly the way I did this recipe, um, it's gonna come out amazing. It's punchy, like all Robustas. It's very punchy, like the very distinct um, Robusta taste, but it is light enough that you can enjoy it. So for people who are fans of, um, of um, Robusta, um, you are really going to enjoy this. And also for those coffee drinkers who likes their coffee very strong, like wakes you up in the morning strong, <laughs> this is the perfect coffee for you. Um, but I tried to do a recipe that would be, that would suit everyone. Right? It's not like the regular, very heavy, very thick, full body Robusta coffee. This coffee is quite light, but the punchiness of the Robusta compensates the whole package. So it, 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 it shows depth. Um, actually, on the packaging, it says milk, chocolate, brown sugar, and tropical fruits. I'm not sure if I am doing something wrong with how I'm brewing it. But I'm not getting the tropical fruits, mainly just the milk chocolate and a little bit of the brown sugar. But um, I can actually enjoy this. If you want to get in touch with them, you can contact them through their Facebook and Instagram. You just search for kapenipepe.ph. 
um, you can message them, get their coffee. And then it is available in drip bags as well, like this. It is available in drip bags and whole beans, right? So for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm going to show you more about coffee. Oh, by the way, I want to thank Sir Anjo for sending me this. Um, it, was a, it was a nice gesture for sending me this beans, for, for, just for me to try. But yes, again, I want to thank Sir Anjo from Kapene Pepe for sending me this. Um, yun lang. Thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!